Good as God Consciousness. Today's topic of discussion is radionic solutions. And I've been using radionics myself. Started in um, September 11th, that's 911, uh, 2004. That's when I um, got my first radionic device. Then I started building them in 2005. And they're actually a lot of fun to build, too. So, <coughs> I've discussed radionics in a previous video. And you'll see video footage of the irradiator mega orb system. And you'll see me placing an envelope in there. So the envelope is basically all the encoding information. So that's what's being mirrored. Um, so that's all the programming instructions encoded into the matrix. So to understand radionics, we understand that everything exists in this moment right here and now. So basically, the solution and the problem exist here and now. Okay? And Radionics believes that it's necessary to basically access the karma and neutralize it for complete re-solution. So releasing linear time, and uh, this universe is actually holographic and non-local. So the way that we work with radionics, we create a now of our intent. Okay, so a successful healer, or a programmer, or a magician, can release the aspect of the holographic blueprint and move it into the now. So healing or manifestation occurs independent of space and time. And the great thing about radionics is it produces undistracted, continuous, 24-7 mirroring of this intent. Okay, so even when you're sleeping in your pyramid, or wherever you like to sleep, your radionic device is basically programming 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, non-stop. Because that's what you're choosing, because you're God and God only says yes. And essentially, what you're patterning into your programs is what you're patterning into your holographic reality. Okay? So now, let's take a look at this diagram that I've created showing constructive interference and destructive interference patterns. So we see waveform 1 and waveform 2. And on the left side, we say in phase and out of phase. So what's happening is, I'm going to relate this with acupuncture. In the constructive interference waveforms, we're basically tonifying. So for example, in acupuncture, if somebody has a deficiency of qi, we tonify it. We, we actually needle with the flow of qi in the meridian. Okay, so that would be a tonifying technique. So that's creating an in-phase wave modulation. So then the organ is no longer weak because we've applied... See, the wave modulation, it's doubled in this explanation on this diagram here, in phase A. So the two combine, and they actually what they're actually doing is they're reinforcing. So that's a constructive reinforcement in phase A. In phase A, right? So the, uh, the crests and the troughs align. See the waveform crests and troughs? They align. They re reinforce each other. Now on the right side we see this destructive cancellation happening. That's the out-of-phase waveform, B. So the crest of the wave 
align with the trough of the wave. So one wave one aligns with the trough of wave two, and they cancel each other out, you see. So for example, in acupuncture, we could say this is like a reducing technique. If there's an excess of chi flow in a meridian, then we could needle against the meridian, against the chi flow, and that's creating an out-of-phase B waveform. That's a cancellation, right? That's a destructive interference. Now we can do this with acupuncture, we can do this with radionics, and um, there's other ways of doing this too. And I'm just sharing this with you so that you can be aware that basically the entire holographic universe is empty of meaning apart from the meaning you assign it because you're God creating it, so I'm um, basically keys opening doors for you here. So I'm giving you some keys to open doors. So now we see that radionics can be used to transmit, actually it's mirroring energy, to any person, place, or thing. So that means we can, you know, fine-tune our life force energy. So if somebody's below 100%, they can definitely work on that, right? And also, um, you can use... So in a radionic system, I, I share with you the video previously about the um, scalar wave device, the irradiator with the mega orb made out of all the pyramids. That device collapses yin into yang, and they cancel out all opposites. They create um, scalar wave mirroring. And essentially, I put the programs in there. You'll see me put an envelope in there. So the program is a ri written intent, right? Or you could have crystals or whatever. And with that, you have a DNA sample of the target. So a picture, hair, nail filing, blood spot, the name, phone number, whatever. And then the trend is the action that you choose to take place for that target. So for example, prosperity, love, psychic protection, you know, the sky's the limit. Now this trend programming can be in the form of vibrational essence, mineral specimens, so gemstones, crystals like quartz crystals, using color therapy, lasers, laser light, you know, using symbols like sigil, and also written affirmation, where you can even program quartz crystal, uh, similar to what Marcel Vogel was doing. So you basically personalize this for yourself. You're personalizing the program, and you're directing that intent towards yourself. 24 hours a day, seven days a week, so it's continuous, non-stop action. I, I say contact. Contact is continuous action. Okay, so contact. So then um, what we're doing here is you can cancel out something that's distracting or destructive to you in your hologram, right? So for example, let's look at this destructive interference. Say there's a resistance force to healing, right? So one, look at one waveform. What you're doing is you're creating the out of phase two wave intent to the resistance. And what it does is it cancels out the in phase waveform. It neutralizes it. That's out of phase B, right? So then there's no more resistance. So all dis-ease or lack of ease is due to some form of stress. And it's all created from within. So now we can basically collapse the waveforms here. We can collapse the in-phase wave with the out-of-phase wave and neutralize it for resolution. So that is collapsing the waveform with radionics. And check out the devices that I build, Irradiator Mega Orbs. Check out the website www.asgoodasgod.com.